Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Lewick, and this video is going to show you how to make a meme. All right, so when you open up your project, it is a Google slide, and if it looks like this, first you want to get rid of the text boxes that are already on there. So where it says click to add title and click to add subtitle, those are pre-made text boxes that are on slides when you open them. So to get rid of them, I just select them, make sure it's blue on the outside, and then press delete or backspace and I'll click the other one. It's highlighted blue. Now, if you click and your cursor is blinking on the inside, um, that means you are going to type in the middle, and that's not what I want to do. I want to select the outside, highlighted blue, and then backspace or delete. Okay, so I have a blank slide. Um, I'm going to X out this here where it says themes as well. This creates a bigger workspace. All right, so here we go. So, you want to come up with an idea, and I have an idea for a meme with a dog in it. So I need to find a picture of a dog and get it onto my Google slide. Where am I going to find a picture of a dog? Let's do a Google search. So there's a couple different ways you can do that when you are using Google Apps. So first way, I can click Insert, Image, and I'm going to click on Search from Web. And that's going to open up a search box over on the right hand side. It's just like I'm on a Google homepage doing a search. And I click in here, cursor's blinking, and I'm going to type in dog. Uh, there is autofill. I'm going to press enter and let's see what comes up. All right, all types of pictures of dogs that I can search. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, I did a pretty general search. You know, if I want a dog jumping, I probably should put dog jumping. Or dog running but let's see I'm going to oh this one looks good so I click on it blue check mark means I have it selected and then I can click insert or I can click hold drag over and drop it give it a second to load up okay there we go I am in there so I want you to try to center your image in the middle I can click hold drag or when it's selected, use the arrows on my keyboard to do that. If you need to resize it, just grab the, the corner grab boxes, smaller or bigger. If you grab the side ones on the side or top or bottom, it's gonna resize it, but it's gonna distort it. So, you know, that's not what I want. Um, but if I grab the corner ones, it makes it the same size, whether I make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so now I have my image, and now I need to put some text on top of the image. Those are the words that are going to make it funny or give information in some way. So I'm going to insert text. All right, so I'm going to click insert. And then text box. And... Now my cursor, when I go over the image, looks like a, um, a target. There's another way to insert text as well that I think is a little bit easier. See this box that has a T in it? When I scroll over, look, it says text box, which is pretty cool. When you scroll over buttons, a window pops up, tells you what it is. I can click on that as well. I think that's a little faster, but you can also go to insert. So I click that and I click and drag. I'm not too worried about what the size of the text box is because I can always change that. No, no big deal. Uh, double click inside if the cursor goes away and start typing. And I'm going to put, let's see. Did you say brownies? All right. So there's my text. I'm going to put it in the middle, kind of center it here a little bit. Um, but that's a problem because that's hard for my audience to read. So it's no good to make a meme or, or really any project with words on it if the people you're making it for cannot read it. I know you probably can with yours because you made it and you know, but other people aren't going to be able to do that. So you have to make it easy for other people to read. So let's work on this text. All right, so I'm going to select it, click hold drag. I want to make it bigger. This, uh, these buttons up here allow me to increase or decrease the font size. If I go plus, it just keeps getting bigger. Or I can drag the, and select the numbers. And let's see, I'm going to do 60. Okay, that's bigger. That's much better. But see how it went to three different lines? If that happens, just stretch out the text box. I like to make the text box as big as the picture and see what's going on here. Hmm. 
let's see. So I'm going to go a little different size font. Let's go down until it's all on one line. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. I can center it with the align button. Click center. Here we go. Okay, let's see. So now it's nice and big, but can't see all the letters because when you have a dark color and a dark color, it just doesn't show up well. So I have to pick a different color. So let's see. I'm going to select everything. Click, hold, drag, or if I just click three times, click, 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 selects everything. And let's see. Text color. There it is. So let's try going with, you know, let's see what a really light color is. Okay, that looks better. And something else to try too, if you drag it to different spots. So that's not too bad. You know, it's hard to get it perfect, but that shows up much, much better than dark on dark. Another trick you can do too, uh, if you select the text box, and if I go to fill color, and I'm going to fill it in with a different color, and let's watch what happens. Ha ha, look at that. That shows up really well. It does cover up some of my picture, um, but those are decisions that you can make. All right, so I have my meme ready to go, just like that. You can make another meme as well. In fact, if you're finished one meme, I want you to make another meme. You click the plus sign over here. It says new slide. It opens up a new slide. Oh, it added those text boxes. Click on it and then backspace or delete. Here's a trick too. If you start up here, click, hold and drag so that the select box has at least some of the text box inside of it. Let go. It selects both of them and then I can backspace or delete at the same time. It's nice and blank. I can do a new search over here. Um, so with your memes, make sure it's appropriate for school. There's going to be no um, you know, blood, guts, guns, stuff like that. Uh, stick to silly ones. Those are good ones. And your memes should not make fun of other people or other things. That is not appropriate. And that's just not a nice thing to do. Um, so we want to be good people and have fun with this, but do it in a good, fun way for when it's time to share with other people. We want to get a good laugh out of looking at yours. So you can make as many as you want. If you finish one, just start another one. And the last thing I want to show you, if you get stuck and you're like, oh, how do I insert a text box? How do I insert a picture? How do I do this? Well, I put another link in the project in our Google Classroom. It's called Google Apps Help. And this is a website I made. And all these white buttons have words on them. And they are links to videos that show you how to do something. So here's insert text box. Edit text in the text box. That's like changing the colors and size. Move the text box. Insert an image. You can even play around with things like change the background color. Let me show you what that is really quick. So here's my first meme where it's loading up. All right, so I click on it and I got the picture in the middle, but maybe I want the background, which is all white, to look something different. I have to click on the background, click the word background color watch what happens if i go black and then done see i like that that's pretty cool so again if you get stuck with something um you know try clicking out try figuring out um if you get stuck though please come back to these videos there's all types of different things there's lots of videos on there for things we'll be doing throughout the year uh, of course you can always check them out the ones you'll use for the memes are the ones up at the top here all right, that's it. Have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you do and share with the whole class. The sillier, the better. Uh, just make sure it's appropriate for school. If there's giggling, that's a good thing. All right, go to it. Have fun.